Hello. Hello. Right, good morning. Here we are, back at the roof. Another day. Lovely sunny Saturday morning. And the brick he's been, as you can see. And what a lovely job he's made of that. Looks, uh, looks really good now. He finished that front off really nice. I don't think he's back to the end of April now, I've just been told, because he's, uh, he's away and then the customers are away. So there's no brickwork going to be done anymore now. So I'll probably just do today and then that'll be me as well. Um, so the plan for me today is to finish this flat deck. If I get up, we'll show you. Now, if you remember the end of the last footage, uh, last um, episode, sorry, if you actually bothered to watch it because the footage was bad because of my um, GoPro, uh, I didn't show any of this. So the 18 mil OSB is underneath here. This is the vapor control layer. All I've done here is I've run pieces that you put this put this on. Um, the silver tape is what I just what I think is best to hold it all down because it doesn't come up very well. It's not like normal tape. It doesn't lift with a bit of damp, as you can see. It's still there. And it's been there a week and a half. So all I've done is the this this one here comes to about there, and likewise this one because I folded it down, and then you just put you just put a really good overlap on then, and then that piece there was because this piece was a little bit short. It was a quite a big off cut, um, and it's not cheap stuff. So um, as long as you overlap it again, there was a gap of about two hundred million in there about 12 inches in from the end or 300 million from the end. So again, I put a big piece on there, big overlap. As long as you get your overlaps, it's all good. It's all taped properly, which it is. So I get up in a minute. I put these bits of timber there just to hold this down because it was quite windy. That's just clamped down and then screwed into the end of the, uh, end of the uh, rafters, flat roof rafters. So what I'm gonna do today is I've gotta finish the insulation off. There's a little more, little more um, messing around over there. I've gotta finish this 100 mil off. And then there's 50 mil going on top of this because you've got to have a minimum of 140. So I'll, however I've done this, like for example, that one's tight that way. So I'll make sure I over, overlap that joint. And likewise over there, that's jointed there. So I'll overlap that one. Make sure you overlap your joints. And then on top of that then goes 11 mil OSB. And then I've got some fixings in, which I'll show you. I'll put them more of a, a thermal efficient fixing, uh, just rather than just screws. So, so yeah. And they just go through and fix directly into the 18 mil OSB. You can't always go into here and get a, a, a rafter every time because where the board finishes, you know, it's meant to have, I think it's meant to have 12, 12 fixings per board. So, so yeah. Also at the end of the last episode, you would have seen me, uh, it finished with a bit of OSB in the air and all that was, was this one. On the end of there, you can just do that little bit of OSB there. Cut the cut from there, from that rafter to this one. And you see me put these in as well. That was that last piece of 12 inch. Oh, I keep saying inches, sorry. Well, I need to use inches and uh, Imperial and Metric because there's people that watch this that are in uh, Imperial still. So yeah, we'll get on with this now. cut some last time because if you those of you that are watching that have used this stuff and do use this stuff all the time it's not uh, not cheap stuff and because the 50 mils going out on the top I just make sure that my joints are nice and tight where possible I use manufactured edges together and silver tape them 
and then the 50 mil as i've already said earlier i'll span the joints of this then with the 50 mil so i'm spanning my joints all the time Use the manufactured edges if you can. Not always possible. This was 140 mil. I wouldn't have done that. I just had about to waste the board, to waste the offcuts. I wouldn't want to hold my joints like that. Loads of little gaps in the way on this insulation because I'm going over the top. I've already said. Not a massive problem. Right, the 50 mils all done now, all nice and tidy, the joints all nice and tight as I said and all silver taped, all the way around, that's overhanging the, uh, or shall I say just, just inside the outside brickwork because if you remember from last video 
the plywood overhangs now and then the drip edge will be formed to go into a gutter that will be there on that brickwork this insulation stops short of the uh, outside brickwork but carries over the um, inside blockwork and the cavity both sides that's both sides there so the internal brickwork external brickwork can come up now that come up to the uh, the joist and then my plywood will go over the top so i get my plywood out now 12 mil ply and get these fixings out to show you that we're going to do and we'll stop fixing this ply then before the wind gets up because it's starting to get up again right let's get the plywood on I'm going to do is so I don't overdrive it because it's really easy especially when you use an impactor is just put a bit of tape like I've done before around that and I know then that's where I've got to stop Go then. to start at the back instead because I've got to create an overhang now over the brickwork let's see it nice and tight against the wall yep that's it oh, too tight against there that's it now I'll overhang there like that overhang the wall like that which is good to get my level See what width I've got to cut this plywood at. And I'll cut that one around there, I think. What's that giving me there? 2090. Yeah, so 2.4. It's got to come to there. So I can cut that round to there like that. Right, I'll get me level. And work out outside brickwork where that plywood's got to be cut to. off there where I am for level I'll cut that the other side it should be the same but don't know to check I suppose what's that 780 yep 780 will do mate 1590 
So, now I'll put these fixings in. You can see, I've pulled it all down at that. The water, if I put that level up there, you can see that that's running that way now. And then, if you remember, I put that 50 mil timber in the centre. That rock in now on that 50 mil timber. If I move it this way, that's running that way. And that one's running that way. It's only a little bit, but when the water comes off this, it'll easily run away from there, no problem at all. So I'll carry on and put these fixings in now. And then I'll have a look at cutting this uh, 18 mil up. Right, there we have it. There's sunshine behind me, so it's all done. Put the plywood on the upstand, which is now my finished thickness now, to allow for this window, as I've already said. I think it was, I think I said 50, between 50 and 65. So I'm all good with that. All fixed down, and the levels are right. This plywood edge now is about five mil in from the external brickwork, this plywood edge, this one. What happens now is what I'll do next time because I'm going to cover this up now. So, is I've got to about three or four hundred mil. I've got to fix up there. So when the, this roof covering is done, it goes up and underneath that roof covering, the main roof covering. So that's what I'll do next. But I won't do that now because I've got to uh, sheet all this up, you know, cover it all over, so I protect it as much as I can. So that's what I'll do now. As always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and the notification bell ready for the next episode.